Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike Chen here in New York and just want to tell you a bit about this video. So I think I mentioned before in a previous video that I tried to film all of South Korea's convenience stores in one video and that just ended horribly. It's just way too long. Each one of these convenience stores deserves their own video because they all have unique food items that are absolutely delicious. And if you go to South Korea, there's four major convenience stores. There's of course 7-Eleven, there's GS25, there's Minimar and CU. I'm not leaving, it's, it's called CU. And I think CU might just be my favorite convenience store in South Korea. Anyway, take a look. This one's got a nice big old eating area. Of course, hot water for the ramen, microwave. Oh, this is actually really cute. Ooh, melon milk. These are what's called hot bars. So they're sausages on a stick. You bite them, heat it up in the microwave. Delicious. I'm feeling like some lobster. Oh my God, a spam on a stick. I don't know what this is, but I see a fire symbol and I want it. Oof, pork belly, cream cheese, strawberry sandwich. What the, this is an egg sandwich. I think this is an egg sandwich with strawberry jam. I'm gonna try it out for you guys. Oh, a handy pizza. These are by far the most popular instant noodles in South Korea. I don't think I've had this before. Meat spaghetti. Okay, so CU's claim to fame is they have this, um, it's kind of like this. It's a roll, but it has mochi in there and it's always sold out, and I can't find it right now. We'll try another CU sometime. A chewing cookie. This looks good. First thing I gotta eat is this ice cream. This is really popular in this country. I've never seen this before, a biscoff. I've had the biscuits before, but I never had the biscuit ice cream. This tastes exactly like the biscuits, except, you know, in ice cream form. Oh my God, this is amazing. I usually dip these biscuits in a little bit of tea and it just kind of crumple in your mouth. Kind of does the same thing here, but as a delightful icy treat. That's another thing I love about this country, the extensive ice cream collection at every one of these convenience stores. There's so much to choose from. Ice cream for breakfast, one of the few, few benefits being a grown up. Probably still gonna get yelled at by my mom though. Next up, let's do the hot bars, the instant noodles, and the pork belly. Oh, look at this. There's actually meat in here. It smells like lobster. little trick that you can do. Make a little plate like that. This smells good. And I think the little pieces of beef dehydrated pretty well. Look at this lobster. Made it in the shape of a claw. There's a fish cake. I would say fish cake with lobster essence. This ramen smells amazing. That is so good. You know what, I don't need this. It's not that hot. I haven't seen this yet in the States. The meat spaghetti, it tastes like super spicy marinara sauce. 
Mm. Good tomato flavor. Dip my lobster claw in this, swig it all around. Get some spice on top of that. Ah, even better. So this is the little pieces of dehydrated beef. I don't think that's beef. That's definitely some kind of tofu manifestation. Could do without that. Mm. Those noodles are so good. You know it might be even better? I think I might have ate too much of this to pull this off, but if you melted a slice of cheese in here, let me go see if I can do that. A few moments later. This is the only thing I could find that was like small enough so I didn't have to get like a whole big package of cheese. String cheese on ramen. It's gonna break this apart. And the reason I'm doing this is because the ramen just lacks a tiny bit of creaminess that I'm pretty sure the cheese is gonna fix. Cheesy, spicy, instant noodles. This might be one of the best combinations ever. I think cheddar cheese would have been also really, really good. But I just didn't want to get like a whole big package of cheddar cheese. String cheese though, awesome as well. Ah, uh, so good. Pork belly. Before that, I need a sip of melon milk. Cool my mouth down a little bit. Oh, that's good. I think banana milk is still my favorite though. Spam. This thing, 30 seconds in the microwave. So the pork belly looks and smells transcendent. Oh my God. That's microwave pork belly? What the heck? That's restaurant quality stuff. That's better than some pork belly I've had in restaurants, especially in the States. Mmm. So tender. The fatty parts of that just completely melts as soon as it touches your tongue. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys probably don't like Spam. So a glistening piece of Spam straight from the microwave might not be appealing to some of you, but it is to me. Mmm. I love this. Not only does it taste, you know, like Spam, because Spam's awesome. You taste the heat, you taste the flame. This Spam might as well have been cooked by Burger King himself. Flame broiled Spam. This and the pork belly. Best meats I've had so far today. Mm. I'm gonna cook with this pizza. And I'm probably throw some pork belly on there. This is a pastry pizza. You see the layers of flaky crust underneath? Looks promising. Probably be better in air fryer, so the bottom's like much crispier. But right now, kind of just cheese on a soft crust. Not bad, not great. Let's make it better. That's much better. I think, really, pizza's flavor is good, the cheese is good. If this was cooked in the oven, I think it'd be pretty splendid. Last item from the hot bar. <laughs> Tastes like a glorified hot dog. Not bad. I think this with kimchi would be great. This I'm a little terrified of. So each half consists of four slices of bread. So we have eggs, strawberry jam, and I believe the last layer is potato salad. Egg salad, potato salad, strawberry jam. I'm gonna just give you guys a moment to ponder how this is gonna taste before I take a bite. Place your wagers down below in the comment section, please. The sandwich left me with the same feeling that the Inception movie did. Confused. 
but kind of good. Like there's nothing wrong with each individual element to this. Potato salad is good. Egg salad is actually super creamy and nice. And then you get that strawberry jam in the middle. It's confusing because all of a sudden you got the little burst of sweetness in there. But overall, savory is sweet. It kind of works. I mean, it's not mind-blowingly good and it's definitely not as bad as maybe you would think. A chewing cookie. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God, what the heck is going on here? It's like an accordion. Hmm. This cookie is awesome. It's so good. Don't do what I did. I thought it was gonna pull apart easy. It does not. It's cookie with mochi in the middle. What kind of genius, evil Einstein creation is this? This is just tremendous. Hmm. Hmm. Soft cookie on the outside, delicious, chewy, mochi center. This would go perfect with tea, coffee, a bad Monday, whatever. It will make better. That's one of the best convenience store cookies I've ever had. This is the first time I've ever sat in a CU and kind of did a deep dive into some of the food items. Really impressed. All right, it, it's me again. Thanks so much for watching the video. Sorry I had to cut it off like kind of awkwardly because again, I, I, I try to film all these things one after another and I've truly underestimated how good the food items are at each one of these convenience stores. But this is the final one, the, the, the final convenience store Store review video I'm doing in South Korea. There's actually one more called E-Mart, but um, I did a whole video on that because it's also a huge grocery store chain. Can't wait to show you guys that because that place amazing. Anyway, hopefully you enjoy taking a closer look at all the convenience stores in South Korea that will become an intimate part of your daily lives if you ever spend any time over there. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.